There was a lot of fear afterwards and a lot of, um, a lot of concern about will it happen again. When people are disengaged from their community, they need to be aware of what steps and what processes they need to have in place in case there, there is a fire or if there is a storm and the power goes out. Like, you know, if your house is going to be in blackness for a week, how are you going to manage that, particularly if you already have quite a lot of anxiety just in your day-to-day -day life? It's an at-need service. They have a safe place to be. They've got somewhere that's, that they don't feel judged, that they can just have their own community. Gives me a reason to get out of bed and meet, mingle with other people. And you want some vegetables, don't you? I'm only just come here for like the, to like socialise with other people. We started looking as an organisation, how do we reach out into the community, what do we do? And I think it was this community cultural development worker there, Laurie, who had made contact with Danielle from the Red Cross. Well, the main thing was we live in a fire prone area and if you want to live in the Blue Mountains, you've got to, you've got to take the risk of a fire. In order to help prepare people in the service for um, you know, fires, storms, emergency situations. We've been working with the RFS and we've been working with the Red Cross and we've also been doing some independent stuff inside the centre looking at getting people to identify what they think they need to do. It's brought in a more awareness and it sparks off some thinking conversations particularly the informal ones that might happen around the dining table here in the centre. Trying to normalise the preparedness so that it's not it's not like something dramatic and frightening and and urgent it's something that you do the same as if you get a toothache you go to the dentist so trying to build it in to a norm a, a normal protective mechanism I learned um, what things to pack water medication some overnight clothes my husband's cleared that block of land of all the blackberries and lantana and... I learnt to um, have a radio with batteries in it. In case the power goes out, you can still, still uh, hear what's going on. The Red Cross has been really beneficial to us because we didn't necessarily have the skills or the understanding. We're not, we're not from an emergency management background. We're a mental health service. So to get those that that knowledge and that experience brought to us was really good. You might not have enough time to prepare everything, so you need to like already be prepared in, in case you don't get much notice. They won't be wondering what to do, they'll have a plan and they'll get into action of what they have to do.